Well, howdy, partners. We we showed Fallout Three. We showed Fallout Four. So it's kind of a Bethesda kind of week, really, isn't it? Uh, I just draw my curtains. So I thought, let's complete the trilogy. <laughs> I think, well, at least I think it's a trilogy. Um, let's go back to the first big game for Bethesda. This is what made Bethesda into the Bethesda it is today. This was the start of them being big. Now, Morrowind sold a bucket load on Xbox. Um, I played some of it, but not a huge amount and I found it very clunky, a bit old having done this, having done Skyrim and then gone back to that. I found it very old uh, and I just couldn't really get going on it. So this is Oblivion. This came out before Fallout, for, uh, Fallout 3. So this is what was it. For, now this was absolutely propelled them into the limelight. This won many, many, many awards. Okay, uh, Game of the Year, I mean, you name it, for RPG, and, uh, you know, it was outstanding. It was things we'd never seen before in a game, it had amazing stuff. And on an Xbox One X, it's looking even sharper than before, because it's been, I wouldn't say enhanced, but the Xbox One X just sharpens everything up, and when we go outside, um, you know, things are going to look much sharper there's not going to be sort of a blurry black ground a bit like it did with fallout 3 it's just going to sharpen everything up and i saw i saw you know i played this game on a crt tv when i first played this game this is a, you know it's my first big rpg i think i'd played something some i don't know might have been boulders gate or something like that uh, and i played it and this was like wow you know I can see myself in third person, I can see myself in first person, you know, it was outstanding what I could do with this, you know, I could, I could pull out the sword, yeah, <laughs> I could, I could, you know, I could do some magic, it was amazing, and I put that away and I get my torch out, <laughs> now suddenly it's even brighter, but that's probably because I just did something to myself, and that's enhanced my, oh, it might have been my vision, so it's kind of made it all go wonky now, but anyway, let's go into the. <laughs> let's go into this, okay? Uh, there's the map, right? I am an imperial. Um, let me just check; it's coming out okay. Uh, was a challenge me to get me picture up because you sort of click on me, which says I'm recording, but it doesn't show the feed. It only shows like the. You know, it doesn't show the live feed the first time you press it. Okay, right, it's up, it's up, and it's going okay. Right. So, many choices on the race. Okay, we got a race. I mean, there's probably about well, there's probably about nine different races. I don't know. I mean, if I press that, uh, I presume I can press. It. Oh no, no, we we'll do that when we do the creator character creator. Uh, so you you pick a race, then you pick a uh, birth sign which. You know, gives you a certain trait. Then you've also got a class. So there are many, many, many different kinds of classes. Y you could make any build you like in this, literally. And you could even design your own, all right? And give yourself strengths in certain things. So you could even create your own in it. It was amazing. I'm level 33. Uh, I don't know what the max level is, but it's probably 50. and I say I've played about 350 hours in this, which at the time was amazing stuff. You you know, you didn't get stuff like this in normal games, not that to that amount. Okay, these are my stats, I'm strength of 102, you know, my intelligence is high, my willpower is high, that's so that, you know, I'm going to be good at, you know, destruction or whatever, I'm, my agility is good, my speed, you know, all these are quite high. The only thing I haven't done is luck. Okay, that's my only sort of failing on it okay right and then we have my major skills you know 100 on armor so this is maximum i do believe so i'm a master on that master of that one block i'm expert you know 
Conjuration and Illusion are ones that I don't really bother with too much. I just occasionally do it. You know, like creating lights or paralyzing is probably the only time I do it, or concealing myself. But I don't use it a lot. I tend to just go in there, slam with my, yeah, <laughs> with my great big sword and my shield or whatever. In fact, I haven't even put a lot in block. Then security, I haven't put a, you know a massive amount in that either, surprisingly. Uh, but I'm good at athletics. I'm good at alchemy because you know I want those great potions. You know, uh, so restoration. You know. But marksman, I didn't bother with the bow because apparently bows are not too great in this. You really got to put a lot in it to get much out of a bow. And then sneak is one hundred, so I'm almost invisible. Uh, you know, apart from broad daylight, I'm almost invisible. I just creep up to somebody in the dark, and they wouldn't even see me if I walk in front of them. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Then uh, hang on. And then it's got, yeah, it's got the, uh, I've got the DLC. This is the anniversary one. I mean, I, I got the original Oblivion thing and then got the add-ons. But um, this one I got, like, cheap um, and gave my other one away. Because uh, I got this dirt cheap. And then this is all my active quests. Uh, these quests completed. So I've done over 100 quests in this. And you think about it, in uh, I'm not sure how many quests are in Fallout 3, but I know in Skyrim there's like 300 or something. So that's, you know, you're talking a hell of a lot of an upgrade from that to Skyrim. Okay, plus, you know, all this. So you got, it's got all this stuff, you know, all the stuff that gamers love. Uh, and then uh, and then we've got all, you know, all this, which is you know, currently what I'm, At the moment I've got so much stuff that I can barely carry a couple of blades and then that's it. I can't, I can't carry anything else. <laughs> so I'm very limited at what I can carry, but that's because I've got like ridiculous amount of rings. You know, I've got, I've got all these things that I could change to at any time, and there's just too many to get. I've got an insane amount of potions. Uh, you know, so I shouldn't bother with that either. Uh, and then all this stuff. Okay, so I won't bore you with all this, and then, and then I've got you know all this kind of stuff. There's bolts, you name it. I got a load of stuff. All right. So anyway, and I, you know, and I've, um, you know, done a, a lot of this map. I don't say I've done all of it. I've completed the main game, so I've completed it, finished the whole main game thing. I don't. I'm done every single guild, um, but I played, a, you know, a fair bit of each. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually the, you know, the highest in the mage category. I am, um, you know, I'm now the, you know, the master mage. Um, I don't think I did the thieves. Uh, the thieves guy didn't do a lot, and the assassins one I didn't do a lot. All right. So anyway, let's go back and do a save, a, a new save. And by the way, the, the tutorial of this is very long. So this whole whole um, amount I'm showing you is gonna probably be the tutorial alone. <laughs> All right, because the tutorial is a kind of dungeon. It sort of starts off with the story bit, and then it's like the dungeon. Right, better get into it quick because the music's going to kick in. If it goes quiet when this is played back on YouTube, um, it may be because I've had to remove stuff I because of copyright claim over the music. Years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era and the final hours of my life. And then the music kicks in. And I might be able to play a very short bit and then I'll have to cut it, cut it out probably. Presents. Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Okay, that will do just in case 
It's copyright strike because you know when I play the beginning and intro to stuff, it seems to be copyright striking. Um, I was going to turn the volume up, so I will do that immediately. We start the game, so I forgot that at the uh, options one. Right. Um, yeah. What shall I pick? Um, so let's see. Uh, they are skilled in heavy armor and whatever. I'll probably go down the heavy. You know, the, the I might go down the medium armor route this time instead of the heavy. Uh, Khajiit can see in the dark, and they've got good agility, and they're you know, they're excellent thieves. So they're good if you want to do that. Uh, they're the uh, the Nords. Uh, so they are resistant to cold and talented warriors. And you got the orcs who are in a right bunch <laughs> uh, using their fearsome they, they've got this berserker rage where you know they go you know, like 50 percent more damage and take 50 percent less damage or something something like that and then you got the red guards um they are talented warriors they also have a hardy constitution and are resistant to disease and poison so that's uh, pretty good what else there is one that i uh I started doing because I thought that would, you know, that would make me good at archery. But archery's never really been that great in this. All right, then you got the Argonians who are, can breathe in water and are good at picking locks. Uh, you know, they got immunity to disease and poison, so that's a really good one. Um, I think I'm going to go with a Breton. They're skilled at um, summoning and healing, uh, so I'll go with that. And I don't know why, but he doesn't look too bad. And then you switch to a fever and it's like, oh my god. But at least you could see the face, as in Fallout 3. So I don't know what happened with Fallout 3, but it was this projection system. So anyway. <laughs> how do you... Yeah, that's the point. How do I go in there and... Do you know, I can't remember how you... Uh... Oh yeah, that's it. I, uh... And then you can go in here and you can do all this stuff, you know. It's, it's all like weird kind of... I don't know. It, it does weird things. But it's, it's really difficult, I find, to get somebody who looks half decent. It's like, whatever you do, it seems to get worse. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, you tell me, does that look any better? I mean... I mean, is there different faces I can pick? No, there isn't. Brow, I mean, yeah, if I miss about with this, it's just going to look absolutely awful, so... I think I'll just leave it. I think we'll just go with, say, the main things, which is like eyes. So you could, I mean, I suppose you could do a golem-y kind of thing, you know, big eyes, but... <laughs> Eyes up and down, I mean, cool, blimey. Actually, I'll just bring these together slightly. Forehead, I'm not going to do all that. Jaw, I mean, that looks fine. Mouth, drawn and pursed. Does it have a big mouth? Sorry, lady. Uh, happy or sad? Make it a little bit happy. So it's like everything kind of affects everything else. It's like weird, weird system they got. Like you can't do it independently. <laughs> Mouth high or low, we'll keep that deflated. I mean, we'll deflate that a bit. I think. Mouth lip small, large. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you could go on. Anyway, I, I won't bother with all that. Uh, and then nose. Uh, Can't do that. Short, long. Is that a nose bridge? Oh, I see, like that. Okay. Does, that make, does it look any better if I do that? Not really. Uh, right, up and down. That's going to be all see. Up or down. Just to see if I can make it look more attractive. But, uh, whatever you do, it doesn't do me much good. <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to get them. Nostril tilt. I mean, what's that? I don't know. It's kind. Of, it's kind. Of whatever I do, it's, it's going to go weird. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I think I'll just go with that. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I think we'll just go with that because let's be honest, it's pretty beautiful. Um, I kind of put a little bit dark. It's a little bit too light. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, you know, why do you got colours like you know eye sockets? I mean, I just want the colour really. Eyelids. What is that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's the point of giving you something like that if it's not really going to do anything? I don't know. It's got to do that. Eyebrows higher or low? I mean, let's bring it down a bit. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Thicker thin, I mean. It's, 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 not, it's not the greatest, is it? But anyway, let's get out of that. Lips. Blushed, I mean, that, that'll do as it is. Nose. Lines, I mean. I've no idea what that is. See, I mean, after it, I don't even know what it's doing, to be honest. Uh. Oh, right, and then we got the eye eyes. Right, uh, but I, don't, I don't want brown. Wow, one, two, three, four. Is that all you get, is it? Let's go with blue then. Age, uh, we, yeah, well, let's have her quite young. Oh, that's, now she's looking a little bit more pretty. Complexion? Well, I don't know, what does complexion do? It's kind of making her go a bit weird, to be honest. <laughs> right, oh, we got our enter name. Okay, enter name. So it, it might go uh, quiet here because uh, it might, you know, mightn't go into the Twitch screen so it'll be blank. So you may not be able to hear what I'm saying, okay? So we we'll enter. Okay, Wendy Robin, and the reason why I picked Wendy Robin is Wendy Red Red Robin go bob bob bobbing along. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And here we are, Oblivion, and this is where Todd Howard did his amazing demo where he went, "Oh, we have physics in this game, and if you cross that, you can, you know, do all this." You know, just showing off the physics engine. And, you know, which was pretty incredible. And you could do this, you know, you could pick up stuff, you could move it around, you know. It has weight if you fire an arrow into the wall, you know, all that kind of stuff. Beautiful stuff. And it's, it's looking nice and sharp. And when you go outside, when we first go outside, which Heels could be another 45 minutes. Snotty. Right, first of all, we're going to turn up the sound because it did seem to be not loud enough. And I'm going to do the voice very loud. Uh, effects, I'll go up a bit. Music, uh, I'll keep it down a little bit, we'll see. Express. See how that goes. You're a Breton, the masters of magicka, right? Hang on. Subtitle, yeah, subtitles are on, yeah. Okay. Hmm. You're nothing but a stuck-up harlot with cheap parlor tricks. Go ahead. Try your magica in here. Let's see you make those bars disappear. No? What's the matter? Kind of worked. Not so powerful now, are you, Breton? He's a nice chap, isn't he? You're not leaving this prison till they throw your body in the lake. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here, Breton. You're going to die. Hey, oh, thanks you hear a bunch. That? The guards are coming. For you. He is a nice soul, <laughs> yeah. isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. My sons. They aren't they? We don't know that, sire. I've tried to work out how you know how to do the. Ah, oh, that one. Dead. That's it. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. Who's he? He won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. You, prisoner, stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way what and you I don't? won't get hurt. Prisoner, stand away me, from eh? the door. 
Over by the window now. I want to look at who that is. Prisoner, get over by the window now. All right. In respect to Bethesda, we will get back. No sign of pursuit. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then Patrick. The stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Emperor Uriel Septim. Patrick Stewart, ladies and gentlemen, the guy who played, you know, Picard in Star Trek. They managed to get this guy for the intro section that you saw with him speaking and him voicing this. What's going on? Ghost? Assassins attack my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. He's kind of told me what he's doing, and I could go around and blab this to everybody, but I won't. Who are you? I am you? your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel. And you too shall serve her in your own way. Okay. Why am I in a jail Perhaps then? The gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what Possibly. you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. You're going you to give me a pardon? What should I do? You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Oh. Please, well, uh, thanks for cheering me up. And thank you, Patrick. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your lucky This day. doesn't concern you, stay out of our way. You're not going to shut that? Of course, we can pick up this. And the beauty about this game is you could pick up the bodies and... Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so much for your words. Right. But he left it open for me. It's rather kind of them. I think he likes me, the cat. Or he'll accept him. But yeah, this is this tutorial session is very long. So I will try to do it as quick as I can. But um, yeah, it goes on for some time. Uh, and it... Close it left. Has, uh, Protect the Emperor! Protect I'll protect yourself. him. Let's get this Who are these people? Kill him! Kill him. I'll, 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 I'll protect him. We're clear for now. Captain Reno? She's dead. Sorry, sire, but we have to keep moving. Right. What's this guy got? Maybe he's got something I can have. Mythic Dawn Hood? Well, I'm having that. Not sure about the Mythic Dawn Hood. I mean, has it got any armor strength? Well, that's how... See, the first one is coins, then the feather is, you know, the lightness. That's the how much defense value, and that's how much health it has. Don't know, but right. To go back. Oh dear, one of the soldiers got killed. We'll grab the torch and, the, and that. Okay. Don't worry, sir. We will get you out. Oh, hang on, there's a... There's a, 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 a yeah, one of, the, one of their swords there. What's this guy got? Not on You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. Well, what, what I might, I might want to follow. To ready your weapon or fist, press the S button to attack, pull the right trigger to block, and the left one. To block, pull the left one, right. Oh, I love that. Now, one of the things you can do in this game, right, let's go into here then, straight away. We'll go to there, and we're going to equip that. Just press it, like that. Now, which does the most damage? That one actually does more damage. That one. See, it does two damage, so I'm going to go with the that one. And we can look at our lovely character, and we can zoom in and out. It's beautiful to watch. And then we're going to... We've got these horrible sack clothes things. Pretty shabby, and I'm going to put this in a hotkey. So we press it, and we can put this. And I'm going to put it in 
let me see. How do I do the hotkey? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That went wrong. Let me do that again. Oh, I went to there. Right, okay. <laughs> I wonder what was going on there. Right, uh, yeah, that one there. And then we're going to go to there. That, that, yeah, this is all. So what we do is we go to there and then we put in the slot that we want. Oh, hang on. I've forgotten how you do this. Um, I think it's... Oh, that one, yeah. Right, okay, we're going to put it down there. That is magicka, so I'll put it down, say, there. Okay, and what you do is, you, on the four-way D-pad, you press it sort of in between the two, and you get it in the corner there. All right? And then the torch, I'm going to put in there. All right? So that's our... So we can call that up instantly. Oh. I'm being attacked by a rat, sir. Now, unlike in Skyrim, you cannot eat the first thing. Although, actually, I will try that. Uh, he told me not to follow. Pick up your journal, press the B thing. Yeah, I know. I've done all that. Just done it. Well, I need a key here, there. So now comes part of the tutorial. So first of all, oh look, it's a rusty axe. I'll have that and that. Now I've got a torch here. Now if I press, hang on. If I do that. See, the torch is unequipped. Uh, and these dungeons, they are... They are... They are dark. That sounds like... We've got a rat coming or something. For some reason, I pressed it. I'm, I think my... Uh, one of my controller buttons going, you know? Aha! We're taking that. And we're going to have a look in and see what he's got. He's got some arrows. I'll have them. We've got a lockpick. I'll have another torch because they do run out. And we've got some armour. Right, good stuff to start off with. What's this? Now you ask pick up a bow and practice using it. Alright. I want to undo this first. You have a little pick. Yeah, I know how this works. You push it up. Like that. But you've got to time it just right because it goes up sort of slow and then it goes like quick, quick. And if you do it when it's doing it, the, the plunger's going up quickly. It will break, uh, and and then you have to do it again. So you got to try and do it so that when it, yeah, and it's quite random. So you got to do it as it goes up slowly, right? We'll pick up the bow. All right. So this is our little tutorial. It's telling us to equip it. So we go to there, and we go to our weapons, and we're going to equip it. All right. And then we equip the arrows. So if you don't do the arrows, if you don't equip that. Obviously, you won't be able to, you know, do it. And those arrows, by the way, they are different uh, colours, and they do each time you throw, you uh, you do an arrow, that one of them would disappear. All right, you're now ready to practice with your bow. The bucket near the wall will make a good target to draw and aim. Press the right trigger. Okay. All right. Where's the bucket? All right. There's the bucket. Now, if I fire it into a wall. Let's see, just get a wall so I can see it. Alright, it's going to bounce off. Okay, and we can pick it up. If I fire it into that, it's going to stick in it, and I can pick it up. So, real good sort of physics in this. So, test here of the old physics. And there she goes. Nice shot, and retrieve the arrows from the world, and you notice if it, it should be stuck in that bucket, although I've kind of Messed it up a bit by doing that, so I might be able to get it now. Yeah, I see. See, so because you can manipulate the world, you know, it's it's pretty darn good. I thought you can do that and get stuff out of it. Right. Anyway, let's move on. Now, if we look at our map, which is like that, and let me see, like that. Right. It's not a bad little map. Uh, I've got to try and think how you do it now. Ah, yeah. If you, yeah, you got like hold the left button to do sort of like that, but you can move this independently by moving it on its own without holding the left button. So, okay, this is where we're going. We came through here, look, and that's where we're going. Nice bit of detail on it. I quite like it. So we're going to creep through here. Always look around because there's always going to be chests and all that kind of garbage. <laughs> all 
right? Very easy, right? Maybe, maybe we can find it's door lock. Maybe we can find the key somewhere, right? Um, right, we can also attempt it. We can press that, right? See how that's nice and slow. That's when you got to do it. If you do it when it's quick, it won't work. See like that. But if you do it when it's slow, it does. And as in Skyrim, um, this levels as you do stuff in the game, so it levels you up. So whatever you do in the game, you know, if you're firing a bow all the time, it slowly your bowing skill will go up, or your archery skill, should I say, not bowing. Uh, you know, if you're using a sword, that will go up. So yeah. A rusty iron bow. Now you can switch to what you've got, and, and right, it's the same one. So there's no point picking that up. But I'll have the arrows, of course. Rusty iron thingy. It's worth a bit of money, so I'll, I'll grab it. Now we have looks like better armor. We've got that, and I'm, we'll keep taking torches for a minute because um, you know it could be useful. Right, and we got the. What is that? Oh, one of those. God! And that little little semicircle there, and you can get some of your arrows back as well. I don't know what that noise was. I heard a noise, and it sounded like my phone might be going dead. Right, so I, I tend to set the spell icon to bring up the magic tab. Right, okay. See, so now we can heal our wounds, right? So we could go to Flare. Is that what it's trying to tell me to do? So if I could go to Flare, and then if I press this button here, I could throw that. Alright, so you couldn't equip it in your left hand, like in Skyrim. That's because, you know, we haven't got to that stage yet. Right, and we can... That's where we came through. There, so we've got to turn right, obviously. And obviously we can sneak by doing that. Instead of the eye opening up like before, you know, with it like closed or whatever, this time it's just when it's bright, it means they see you. When it isn't, I don't think it see, can see me, can it? I'm not sure. Do you know? I don't know. So I'm gonna switch to that one. Oh, I think because I, I can. Only, Right, and do it now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hotkey this, right, as the top one, right. And then I'm going to, because this is a apparel, in fact, I'm going to wear that and that, because I think that's, is that better? No, actually, that's better defense. Uh, Greaves. Leather boots, uh, we may as well drop that. How do I drop that? Oh, X. <laughs> we'll drop those, we'll drop those, and we'll drop that. And the wrist irons, we don't need that. Uh, but we will equip this as well, so as you can see, we can equip. Oh my goodness, I took my trousers off. Now, that's, that might be a stupid move. So did I drop it on the floor? Can't see. Where's my torch? Oh, I forgot where the torch is. Oh, it's over there. Oh, that's because it's there. Uh, yeah, it's because I've uh, got a torch up. I just seen if I could find me pants. Oh, there they are. <laughs> what happened to me? I thought I had some pants. I was aware of greaves as well. I thought I had some decent trousers or something. I must have lost it. Anyway, I better push on. I have to do without it. Uh, I have that, but I don't think I'll bother with that. Of course, he's going to see me now. I wonder why he's running away. They don't normally run away. Gosh, 
chat. Let me see if eating it does actually do anything. Oh no, I, I know, I know for a fact it does. Oh yeah, oh it's already unlocked the first one. So okay, so it already does it. Yeah, if I eat that, uh, obviously I'm going to be in a sack full of trouble. Right, let's look at the map. So yeah, we're going okay. There's no, there's no um, zoom in and out on this. So at least I don't think so. I'm um, sneaking because you know we got a sneak, but yeah, this goes on for quite some time before we get out of this. See, look, he only became aware of me just then. Sometimes they have like a ring on them or something. The ring, put. Oh, sorry, shouldn't do that. Mustn't do that. Mustn't do that. Don't do that, Ray. Don't start on that. Look around the area. Because, you know, this, they like to hide chests and things. Ah, see, got my shield. See? <laughs> it's a pr pretty, um, you know, pretty sharp, you know, it, it comes up like almost immediately. It's like, bam, it's there. Nice, I like it. But yeah, I'm always going to check because they do hide sneaky little chests in the corners and things. But you see, my skill is going up because I'm doing the sneaking. It's going up all the time here. Tell you what I am going to do is I'm going to go back to here and uh, just make sure this is hotkeyed to say there. Uh, whoops, where's the potion? Yeah, I need the hotkey one to the bottom. So I'll try and remember torch right. <sighs> yeah, I never, I never remember. I wasn't switching my bow, but it's practically on me now. Because right, he's hit me, so but but my armor skill improved because he hit me. So they hit you, yeah. The armor skill improves. Why? Because I took a blow and I did it quite well. Uh, so I'm gonna pick stuff up for a minute until you know. But in this game, you will actually. Oh, was a nice rusty helmet. Now, I mean, yeah, you will. As soon as you're encumbered, you cannot move in this game. All right, so. You gotta be at least one under, alright? Or one degree under. Uh, you can do it like this. Uh, let me see, what? Iron Greaves. Uh, what have I got at the moment? Hang on, let's. I'll put the helmet on so that'll improve things. It's only got like one armour. Bit weird. Oh, the Greaves is the bottom section. Okay, we've got a nice skirt now. Is it a skirt? Yeah, yeah, kind of a skirt, yeah, because we're a woman, it's a skirt, so we can drop that, which means we can move. Uh, which is the best out of these two shields? Well, actually, that one is better. So, I'm going to drop that, even though it's worth a bit of money, although I'll probably only get 20 if I try and sell it. But I'm very, very light on what I can carry, so we're going to have to drop it. And anything else I can drop? Is it I got the boots on? No. Put the boots on and I'll keep it for a minute, alright? But you know, if it drops there, blah de, blah blah. I could pick up uh, the cheese and whatever. Oh, it was a huge, great big war hammer, but look how much that weighs. That would take me way over the top. But yeah, if you want to go around that, go down that particular route, there's a gigantic war hammer. And here comes the chest. Uh, we're just going to go for the gold now. Now, of course, I picked up everything and I used to, do you know what I used to do in this game? What's that, Ray? I used to, <laughs> I used to not want to leave anything behind because I wanted to make vast amounts of money. So I would bring the stuff with me, drop it, and then go and get the other bit, drop it, and keep dropping them by the doors. Then go through the door and then pick them up and move, you know, and so that I could try and get keep every single bit and then go all the way back home. <laughs> And I have this great big pile left outside when I get out into the open. Go back home, come back, and then pick up some more, and then go back and keep doing that until I had tons of, and I ended up filling every single chest and drawer that I had in the whole house. It was actually insane. Well, I don't do that anymore. And in this game, everything levels up, so... Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, what is that one actually? That's one. what? You notice the health is going down. Okay? You see it's gone down from 195, so it, ha it will wear out. Looking quite fetching actually. Right, let's go to the. Yeah, yeah you've got to keep doing this. There's no like. Oh, press the map button. Alright, so you can see where we've gone, but that's where we're going, obviously. So, we know where to go. We can go either way, and they do like, like to hide stuff, so. You know, if you want to go around the torch method. I mean, I tend to kill the stuff and then use the torch after. Of course, you do what you want. It's your choice. Right, we're going down here. I'll, I'll try and make it as quick as possible, because it's. You know, already we're in 40 minutes. Alright, I may, I may have wasted the first 10 minutes showing you uh, my, my uh, character. But, um, yeah, it's looking to... I mean, it's going to look not quite so sharp to you, but to me, this is absolutely razor sharp, what I'm seeing here. It's absolutely beautiful to watch. Um, the dungeons in this and the caves and things were rather generic. They, they tend to be... A, you know, a, a, a variation of a kind of template, and those templates tended to repeat. So, you know, they weren't handcrafted. They were handcrafted, but, you know, they kept repeating the cycle, you know. So it wasn't all, whereas in Skyrim, every single one is handcrafted, and they're all completely different. So they learned from that experience. Uh, we can try and pick a mushroom, of course. But, of course, we haven't got very good at picking up stuff, so only occasionally will we ever get anything. Until our alchemy, or whatever it is, gets better. Sometimes it's hard to get it in the correct place. <laughs> right, you can, you can hotkey items here. I've already done that. <laughs> so you can hotkey stuff, so, I mean, it's all good stuff, all this hotkey and stuff. And then that's something new as well. So we take all these because they're all gonna, you know, give you different things and they're good for crafting patience and stuff. And of course this might set off an alarm. So we have physics, you know, we, you know, it's good physics little engine in this. We're going to the natural caverns. <laughs> so this takes a little while to do this. Now what I can do also is if we go to magic, I could do say that, I mean, the heal wounds one seems like a good one. So what we'll do is, I'm going to do say, that one there, for health. All right, I'll try and remember that. All right, and then this one could be say, I don't know, that one. Now what I might do is change that one to the bottom, because that would be easier for me to hit. And maybe the... Uh, where are we? And maybe the potion one to... Um, to the left of that. So I'll try and do it like that, I think. Yeah, and then if I put, say, the shield there, then I could equip a torch, and then I could put away the shield, and the torch will light up. Good thinking, Batman. Good thinking. And of course, you can go into chests and all this kind of stuff, and it's usually a load of old tosh. <laughs> but of course, you can sell it. But I mean, if 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 it's only worth two, you probably won't get anything for it. They're very tight in uh, Tamriel. Right, there's a goblin up ahead. You might be able to sneak up to him. Go into sneak mode, press the left stick. Right, I've done that. Note that the crosshair changes to an eye while you're sneaking. If the eye is dim, no one can detect it. But if it's bright, they can detect you. So if it's, see it's dim at the moment. Alright. We personally made it so, you know, we can just get this guy without too much problem. We've got to kind of time it right. He's gone over to the fire. 
So if I make too much noise, he's going to hear me. And... And we could do a big blow. And look, we've got four times damage for sneaking. Right? And I did a heavy blow as well. So next time I'll try it with a quick blow and see what happens. There we go. That's sorted him out. Now, is it, they, all, they, they level up as you do, which makes this game a little bit tougher than, say, Skyrim. Okay, that was quite easy. That one, that one, and that. I'm going to collect the torches for a minute. But I'm not going to get too many because obviously that's going to weigh us down. What's this? A potion of illness. Some of them. What's that? A mortal and pestle. Now you need that. That'll create potions. And a stinkhorn cap thing. So it's going to probably tell us to do a potion in a minute. <laughs> right, let me show you that. So we go into the potions, okay, and we go to the top, and we click on that, and then we can add an ingredient. So let's see, restore health, damage fatigue, so uh, damage health, damage health. So probably damage health would be a good one, right? We do damage health, then we put another one in, and it'll just show you the one, only the ones that are left. Okay. So we're going to do those, and then we press X to create it. All right, then we can create another one. Right, and then if we want to, we can press on that and we can remove that and put a new one in. Now I could just do restore health, all right, but there's no other one for restore health. Okay, so so I can't do, you've got to do at least one. All right, so now I've got a damage health potion. So now I can apply that to my weapon. Okay, and I could hot key it. Now this might be a bit tricky, but I'll try and hot key it to there. Now, what does this one do? That damages health for 6 seconds, that would be 12, whereas that would be 10. Or does that do an instant amount of damage? Yeah, anyway. And then I'm going to press this, so I can heal. I think I, uh... Yeah, it was heal, yeah. Now, what, am I, what is my skill? Shield myself for 60 seconds. So that is my actual skill. So I can and hotkey it, but now I'm running out of keys. But that is my particular skill. Right, let me go to the map. So we're kind of going this way, I think. I think it's that way. But I put the brightness up on it because, the, you know, the places in here can be a little bit you know, dark. I did the chest, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, let's keep on going because I say this because this goes on for quite some time. Oh, I played this game. I could not stop playing this game. It's the best thing I've seen since fried breakfast. But um, yeah, every time you level up, they level up. Okay, so they're always leveling up with you. And that's what makes this game, I find, tough. Because, you know, no matter what you do and how many skills you get, it always seems to be a struggle. And if you don't use the block, you are going to struggle in this game. That block does come in handy a lot. Uh, well, I know that, or you've got to... Um, oh, I picked up bones for some unknown reason. <laughs> now that's kind of dumb. I should not have picked up stones. Your maximum incumbent sees, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right, I think it's on the thing. So I need to drop those bones, because... Yeah, you saw me, I'm very quickly... You know, I can barely carry anything. Oh, by the way, if you get near a fire, it will burn you. As well, I think I'm pretty sure it does. And of course, this is a light like that. You will show up, obviously. Right, we can go left or right here. <sighs> tricky, that's a tricky one. Left or right, it'll probably come out in the same place. It doth come out in the same place. So what there, yep. Yeah. Apple there, tempting. 
So you know what we can do that is we can push that. And if there's anything there, that's all going to fall down. And it's going to kill them. So we got traps in this as well. But we can, you know, we can <laughs> manipulate it and chuck it ourselves. So they, they set up traps which you can use yourself against them. Or you could get caught by it. So it works both ways. So, a bit like Skyrim, really. Now, this might make me over overweight. Yes! It scared me like that, right? So now is, yeah, I'm getting too many torches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, uh, say, two of them. That's not enough, okay. See, although, actually, they don't weigh anything. So I'll pick those back up. Uh, so I'm uh, got to drop something. So I mean, it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> everything's at a premium here. It's like I drop one of those. It's like it's, space is so tight. But obviously you'll be able to. Oh, that's, that's an easy one. Yeah, that was when I should have done it. And maybe there. Oh. Oh yeah, make sure it's a nice slow one like that. Uh, yeah, they don't wear anything. The arrows are the things that do wear. So I'm going to start being a bit careful with that. And another one there, which uh, I don't need a lock. Right in. Just going to sneak me out again. Let's go back to the map. Um, oops. Yeah, it's easy to sort of flick off of it and flick off. So I say we're 52 minutes, all right, I'm, I'm maybe not 10 minutes, but we're about 40 odd minutes into this already. You know, he's armed, this guy. So yeah, he's going to block sometimes as well. I'm going to start leaving. Oh, well, actually, the lockpicks don't weigh anything, yeah. Can we get the lockpicks? They're fine. See, we could grab that and, you know, do what we want with it. And that is uh, two, which should be the same as the one we've got. Oh no, it's worse than the one we got. Uh, and we are nowhere near the end yet, by the way. But I'm going to go up here because, you know, there might be a chest hidden in there. It usually is. Yeah, even the sort of sneak mechanics in this is good because, you know, obviously by a fire they might be able to see you. Whereas when you're away from the fire they won't. So it's all it's all nicely done. For a game this old. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable stuff really. See now I could get the old bow out. Now which one's a bow? Where do I, which one's are a hotkey, that one, the one on the left. Now I don't think it headshots count, because I don't think it counted in the uh, square am I there? Missed. You know what my shooting is like? My marksman skills improved. I think you're going to have to, um, you know, significantly keep playing the bow one over and over and over and over if you're ever going to be any good at bowing. Right, didn't see me because he was looking the other way. See, so he's good sneak mechanics. Oh, and you could open that, but there's a rat in there. So it probably won't be a good idea. Oh, there's a guy coming. He's coming this way. So he's seen me. The thing is, eye has gone bright. I love you, gold mate. Thank you very much. Right. See, I'm always switching. I'm always switching between these two. Right. Uh, yeah, we kind of got to go right the other way, kind of that way. Ish. But look, he's turned his back on me, so you know he's not going to see me. And this one's got a. See, this one's a wizard by the look of it. But do a nice big blow by holding it like that. I could get a short sword. I can get a petty soul gem, which weighs very little. But this thing is carrying a shaman. Thingy. Now it's going to make me encumbered. But hang on. 
Okay, now I might have to like drop something. Uh, I've dropped that. Is that the shock damage on the target? For a minute, let's let's do that. And the thing I, you know, that I was dropping, it's dropped. All right, let's look at the map. So I'm always going between these two. Uh, uh, yeah, if you hold the left button, it kind of scrolls. Let's use this this thing. Oh yes, oh god, it's gone terrifically dark. See what I mean? If there aren't, if it's not lit up, it can be dark. So this is why I put the brightness up a little bit. But they're very, very dark in some of these, and some are even darker than these. We still haven't got out yet. <laughs> Another chest hidden around the corner. I'll take those. I think we got a little bit more weight now. At least the opening doors in this, they're pretty sharpish. They're pretty quick in this. What with the playing on Xbox One, it significantly uh, improved the loading times. I mean, they weren't too bad even then, to, to be honest, because I don't think this game's that big. To be honest, only about like 20 gig, I think. It's amazing how much they've cram you know, they crammed into this game, really. Right, hello. We can find a dispensable part. I'm going to go with the sword now, and the shield. But it looks like we're back to where the Emperor was. And there's a bit of, bit of a hoo-ha going on. As we say in the UK, a bit of a hoo-ha. It looks like we got a drop here. FOR THE EMPEROR! You don't want to do that. Oh. Damn it, it's that prisoner again. Kill her. She might be working with the assassins. No, she is not. not one of them. She can help us. She must help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I what explain? You Listen. I don't know. You know the Nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. The Nine's I've guide and protect us. I've served all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. And now... Uh, <laughs> We've, we, we're sort of playing a certain way, but we have gone... Now, look, 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 how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We've got, so we've already picked our class, which gives us an advantage. All right? <laughs> so now we're picking a class. So And, and there's... Oh, I've forgotten how many that was now. Not 15 or something. So we, we can have... This is 100% bonus to our Magicka. Uh, but I'm weak. But I'm weak to magic. Uh, that gives me ten points of willpower and endurance. So willpower will be help with magicka. It's how fast I think you re regenerate it. Mage gives you a f permanent fifty points to your. So if you want to go down a mage route, that would be a good one. That, that one gives you agility, speed, and luck. For the thief with the astronaut, you don't regain magicka over time. Instead, you have fifty percent spell absorbed. So you could, yeah, you'd have to. Recharge a magicka by you using it on mages, but you start off with a much greater, but it won't regain over time. I kind of want it to regain over time. It uh, gives you the blood of the north lesser power re regenerate up to ninety pounds. However, you also gain the talk trollkin curse. Of, oh, I don't want the weakness to fire. Use the level because once a day to paralyze an opponent for ten seconds at a cost of a, a lot of fatigue. So yeah, you can go with any route you want here. So I don't know. It restore once a day a powerful restore health spell. I'm gonna go with that one. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Oh, don't be too depressed. What Your about me? Your stars are not mine. Today, the ritual shall speed you on your star patterned path. Can you see my, my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. 
Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the Sahanian. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, wow, you can and see with a lot. the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Am I a chosen one? Aren't you afraid to die? No Who trophies of my triumphs mind, precede me, that. but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but yeah, flesh and heard. blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. He's kind of depressed, isn't he? What about women? <laughs> Where are we going, uh, Emperor? So I should call you Emperor, not I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music oh. calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Okay, nice man. You may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and Okay. Uh, the are you part of the blades? Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, all right, all right. not going according to plan. Yeah, I can see that. What about all the My job is to make sure the emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. All right. Okay, Boris. Stick close and let. Thank you. What about this guy? Uh, all dressed in red for some reason. I wonder why that is. Hello, Oriel. There's no time you? to talk. Oops. Trying to get that, actually. <laughs> I've got my sword. I have got my sword. Well, he kind of didn't want me to do that. He wanted me to wear out there. You thought we just hold that. The Emperor's in danger. Yeah. Right, let's, 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 let's yeah. defend him. The dragon fires. Oh, I did a good job there. I trust you, but I don't. Stay out of our way. Right. Not much okay. fun. I did help it. I mean, I helped him. God, blimey, he's ruthless, isn't he? I mean, any other hidden passages? No, let's get on with it. The Emperor's in danger. Oh God, he's, he's in danger a lot, isn't he? I'm not surprised. Can I run? Right. The end is. Who are these guys? Hang on, I better stay close to him. I've got to protect him, I've got to help him. Talos preserver. Alright, I was a bit late there. <laughs> Everything okay? Okay, right. Hang on in there, Emperor. Hold up. Is that the story in, uh, in this? is pretty good, but I mean, they surpassed that in uh, Skyrim. But yeah, each time they got better and better, which is what, well, you know. But this is really what kicked it all off. This sold about half a million in the first month. Which, all right, that didn't seem much these days, but then that was a lot. And uh, you'll see why when we get outside, because... And do you know, there's... You know, it, it gradually preloads in the next section as we go along. And because it was on Xbox 360, the gate is barred from the other get, side. A trap! It's gonna be a lot quicker on this because it's hatch. installed on the hard drive. The Let's go. Right, we can't go through there. They've kind of locked the gate. But I'm gonna stick with my emperor in case I can help him. I'll go ahead. Head. I'll go ahead. I'll protect him. It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the oh, I've got my sword ready. Don't worry, just light. in case. I'll try not to hit the Emperor. I've got a feeling someone's going to come through there. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the amulet. Give okay. it to Joffrey. Right. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him. Oh, okay. And close shut the jaws of oblivion. Of oblivion. Okay. Stranger, you chose a bad day to take up with the calls of the Septims.
lucky I like you. Otherwise, you'd be dead already. Oh, oh I see. Oh, God. Oh, no. We failed. I failed. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Um, I think he gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. Yeah. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? There is Nothing another heir. I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He is the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. You're putting a lot of trust in me, but thank you. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Okay, thank you. So I've got Boros's key has been added. The sewers. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced acrobat. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't exactly <laughs> yeah, throw myself up and down, but and now you must choose your class. So we picked a sort of a trait kind of thing, you know, what we just did, which I thought was a class, but apparently now we're doing a class. So this is kind of our sp yeah. Now you must choose your class, the major skills of your class. So these are my major skills. The other ones must have been my lesser skills. The major skills of your class will start higher than the other skills. You increase your level by raising the major skills more. Right, so now we get even more choices. <laughs> All right, so you add like, I don't know, 15 or whatever. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 20, 21, is that right? 20 or 21. Oh. So yeah, so again, and these are all going to add it to your, your major skills now. So we can have Marksman. So he's going to be good in Destruction, Marksman, Security, Mysticism and Alchemy. I could be a warrior, so I'm good at Blunt Blade, but you know, that seems the obvious one. I'm going to go with Spell Sword because they tend to be good at both. And I, I like to do a bit of both. That is destruction, heavy armor, but not so much on the sword. That is a scout. So you see what I mean? It's quite a good choice here. That's kind of light armor, block acrobatics and blades. So that would be if you want to do like light armor stuff. And then you got like a rogue, pilgrim. Um, that's more sort of, you know, mercantile and, and speechcraft. There's a knight blade. So this is uh, like destruction, restoration, light armor. So that's like... A knight, but kind of, you know, with a light, you know, so they're all different kinds of things. Uh, that's more of a, you know, another a different, a different kind of, uh, I don't know, um, you know, swordsman kind of thing. A crusader, which is like restoration, destruction, and blunt. But you can create your own. <laughs> So you can actually create your own as well, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to do, say... I don't know, it could be a, I mean, a battle mage wouldn't be a bad one. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with that. Really? I don't think I've ever been have guessed. Still, I don't think you'll have any trouble with rats and goblins. Thank you. After the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? I got it, Boris. Yes, I understand. Please explain more. <laughs> Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. Thank you. And what about you? What will you do, Boris? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. Hopefully. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. 
You're not going to take it off me. Do you know, I do believe he took it off me. <laughs> oh, he took me. Well, that's kind of messed it up. It means I've got to reset that then. So, he, uh, poor, Leave poor. The Emperor in peace. Oh, sorry, sorry. I shouldn't be doing that. Right, uh, Potion of Night Eye. That one give us a, you know. But yeah, he comes through here. The vicious person. He comes through there and attacked our Lord and Saviour. So it looks like we've got to go left. Or well, um, all through there. Looks like a kind of way there. Although that's locked. Oh, hang on, can I use that? No. Okay. <laughs> it's either one or the other. So it looks like we're going... Yeah, it was kind of a trap, wasn't it? And then the guy came in from here. Right, let's see. We're going to go... So I won't sneak for a minute, because, you know, that'd be pointless. But yeah, so, so we're, st we're 71 minutes now. And yeah, ignore that first 10 minutes. Right, okay. That's increased. Uh, we're going to take both of those. Right, we've opened the door and not locked it. Right, now we start sneaking. So we still haven't finished yet. Oh, sewers. Right, we're going to go down the sewers now. So this is just a tutorial, by the way. <laughs> we don't, well, we've kind of done the tutorial. This is like the next stage of the tutorial. So you can... According to the mysterious message that's been delivered to me, I've inherited an underground lair called Deep Her Hair from... Yeah, I won't make that my active quest, but... And, and oh yeah, these are part of the DLC. These are little cheap little items, you know, only a couple of pounds or whatever. Uh, and also I am inherited that place for some reason. It's, some, it's, it's, like a, uh, it's like a wizard's tower kind of thing, which is really nice. <laughs> it's like your own team, you know, with alchemy in it. And it's like, yeah, it's like a, a player house. It's beautiful. So although you can buy your houses in this game, right, I'm going to put that away so I can get a torch out. But of course, people might see me. Uh, you know, it was a little thing that I got, and I got it cheap anyway. You know me, I don't buy things brand new. So it's quite... Uh, hang on. So I could switch to the bow here. The rusty old bow. I don't think headshots count in this, but... A <laughs> little bit late there. They seem to like rat meat for some reason. But yeah, I, this was, you know. Oop, missed. Okay, I think we'll go with the... Yeah, I mean, you can block a bit. Oh! Hang on. You see the rat? God. <laughs> but you see, already... They are now... Starting to have shields, and we didn't get that at the beginning. So, already starting to level up here. Secret chest there. Yeah, there's a battered flower. I don't need flower. But yeah, this is like I don't think that's very deep. But yeah, now now we got kind of you know, oh yeah, you know, what's what's down that way? What's down that way? You know, and which way do we go? Uh, let me go. I'll go a little bit quicker. Sealed. All right. What's up here? Anything? Anything over here? Put it down, I'll get a torch. What's a coin in there? Can I can't go in there, can I? No. Dead end that way. <laughs> okay, it's a dead end that way. Right, okay, fair enough. 
Yeah, he saw me. I saw the bright light. The ones that are like, it looks like they're broken, and they obviously don't contain anything. But ones that are like, not broken, do contain anything. <laughs> Near a clunking noise. What's the clunking noise? I can hear a clunking noise. I'm gonna creep. That may be where we were, where it came to a dead end. We're going over the top here. Open a gate. Oh, squeaky gate. But yeah, hey, quite dark. If I'd left it on the normal thing, it would have been even darker. So I take it. A sealed. Ooh, the eerie sounds. Right, and then we finally, after 77 minutes, let's say. So it just takes an hour to get out here. Now, here we can change our mind. Oh, well, you know, do I really want that race, you know? But we're going to finish and we're going to exit so Now, suddenly, you will see the beauty of Oblivion, which was, for the time this came out, it was like people were drop their jaw dropping, it was. And I'd never seen anything like this in my entire life. And you notice, if you look in the distance, the red arrow sure comes shows your direction. Uh, yeah, that's your quest marker, the red arrow. You can walk there by following the compass or use the world map to travel there directly if you've got a fast travel point. Or you can set off in any direction and begin exploring the world on your own. Good luck. So again, like Skyrim, you can go wherever you want in this whole world, okay? Now, I'll give you a word of warning. You go in, uh, in the water, you will get slaughter fish after you. And they are pretty vicious. They're you know, much more dangerous than they were in Skyrim. That looks like the Imperial City there. But, you know, when you came out the first time we played this, and we came out and we saw this, it was like, oh my god, I can see for miles. And like, you know, even that mountain there is, I mean, to me, it's, it's crystal clear. But yeah, you can be, you can use your thing in here, but but yeah, slaughterfish. Can, you know, I remember getting killed by a slaughterfish in here. Now, ah, what's that? Now you can't travel when there's enemies about. But this is like a kind of grassland. But sometimes you'll get like you know, beautiful sheets of of glass of grass. Yeah. So this is like. Just, you know, just b barely any grass at the moment. Oh, it looks safe enough. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 I've got a torch up. Might have been a bad idea. Somebody's coming. Hello! Could have got the bow out there, really. Oh, he's got a great big gigantic battle axe. <laughs> right, I got you there, mate. Is that any good? So I can compare it. See, I can go over here. Look, I can compare it. I can say, hang on. I've got three there. And what's he got? Five! And that's actually light armour. So that's way less. That's 30. That's only five. But it has, oh, that has a defence of one. That has a defence of three. So I think I'll stick with what i got. Uh, I may as well drop that, didn't I? Although, why should I? <laughs> oh my, on one, two, four. Oh, I can actually pick up some stuff. So I'm going to pick up that and that. Because, you know, ooh, look at that. That weighs a bit. I move? I can move. Right. A big battle axe. We like battle axing. Oh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm not messing around, am I? Makes a change. Could go on the snake route here. 
Oh, he's an archer too. Alright, who can archer to? Who's gonna archer first? Am I hitting him? <sighs> Hang on. I'm gonna switch to. Oh god, I'm getting hit here. Burn the guy. That's what I say. Oh yeah. Burn him. Iron bow. That's probably better than what I got. It's beautiful. Beautiful to listen to, isn't it? I mean, I don't weigh much. But I might get a hundred. Although I won't get a hundred. Let's be fair. You won't get a hundred, Ray. Uh, I'll get that class later. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Me foot slipped. So yeah, this is a nice. So yeah, see, now there's a bit of grass. But when you do get the grass, all right, it draws in. But I tell you what, it's not because it. I think it's a little bit better on the Xbox than One X. You know, but. It's be, you know, it's beautiful grassy, there's woodlands and, you know, it, it looks really nice. And when you first, you know, to see this in a game, in full 3D, in first person or third person, in, in back in them days, was amazing. It's an amazing achievement. And, and really compact. Uh, I mean, bug-wise, I don't think it was... I mean, they always had a reputation of being buggy, but, you know, all right. And now we can go to sleep. One hour to refill my health. Oh, look, there's a now that has increased our hand to hand skill. See, and we can turn the page so we can read that. And I must admit, I read a lot of these. These aren't quite so long as oh, is it? They are quite long. I'll take it though. That is probably a yeah, we'll have that. Oh, and there's a garlic cluster. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what I did, is I went down that uh, cave in a minute and I put a load of stuff into a box somewhere. Somewhere there was a box. It was getting dark out. I think it's somewhere around the back of here or something. There's a foxglove. Uh, I think it's somewhere around here there was a box of some kind. Oh no, it must have been this. And I stored a load of stuff in it. <laughs> so when I come back it'll still be there. <laughs> I kind of like that. Uh, actually, that's a big one, isn't it? I might go with a battle axe. It's very, very heavy, though. That's the only thing. But I might... I tell you what, I'm going to store that. Uh, how do I store it? Push that. Yeah, that's it. And it goes in there, see? So I'm going to store that. Uh, that's a rusty one. Oh, there's not a lot of difference, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to put that in there. Because I can save, you know, I can save this, and, and you know, we can save it. You know, I'll sort, yeah, and then we can pick this up later. <laughs> then I can pick stuff up in here. Oh, there's another one there. So I could have put loads. Of, oh, actually, I'm going to pick that up. There's food here if you want it. You know, I always handed out a bit of food. Oh, there's that as well. Now. I'll show you the beginning of this, but you come out, you can do that, you can go wherever you want. I mean, I could go to that Wayne and Manor here, whatever it is, you know, you know, you know, uh, which I think, if I remember correctly, um, it's over here. Whoops. Yeah, it's very easy to flick to the, the wrong thing here. And, and of course, if you do that, you've got to go, <laughs> go and do it again. But yeah, I could, I can't, at least I don't think I can, let me press it. Well, I can. Well, yeah. So in this game, there are you know there are certain places where you can go directly. So the main sort of towns, like here, you know, and the the main four towns, you can fast travel to them straight away from the beginning of the game. Unlike in Skyrim, where you've got to go to them first. You can, you see, you know, you can get a, you were able to get a ride on the old thingy, but in here you can't actually go straight to it. 
But this is really interesting dungeon here. Full of traps and god knows what. But I'm not going to do the whole lot because I think my football's on in a minute. <laughs> and I mean, I need to go to the gentleman's room. But um, yeah, this is going to be creepy. It's going to be dark. There's going to be traps in here of all kinds of stuff. There's going to be ghostly creatures. You know, and these dungeons I found in here were really creepy. Really dark, really creepy. You know, all kinds of, like, zombies, I mean, you name it, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, yeah, axe, very fast weapon. Uh, and very sharp, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Good on it. But yeah, creepy. I find I find in this game you need you need you need the torch because you couldn't see half the time. I mean, all right, here you can, you know, it's lit up. But yeah, again, this is probably take another hour doing this. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to f hang on. Where's my bow? Oh, apparently, I haven't equipped my bow. Oops, hang on. Oh, it, oh it's because I swap, swap, uh, so it hasn't been on its thingy. Uh, so I'm going to try and get this guy, because it's like four times damage in this. I think there's only two times damage in Skyrim. Got to allow a bit for the fall off in this. We didn't like that. And then we change to this one. Sorry about him. They seem to be really oh, good in this. They seem to be able to cry. block you and all kinds of stuff. Um, they seem to be way harder in this game. And, and they seem to be more intelligent than <laughs> Skyrim. Oh, he did a power blow there. Oh, I could do a power blow Jump on, on my sword while you can. Oh, yeah, they're like the trash talk. Yeah, I did a power blow there. Right, I'm gonna... Oh. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> See what I mean? This game is tough. Honestly, this is a very tough game. I, 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 you know, had to turn the level down it on some occasions because it really is a tough game. I find, because you know, compared to compared to the others, it really is. So yeah, constant saving here. Where's he gone? Oh. And obviously that, you know that. <laughs> yeah, they're like trash talk. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, ha, gotcha. It's like, it's quite funny. It's got me. But uh, yeah, just a little bit more and then I think that will do. But yeah, creeping is probably a better way. What? I do believe I just activated a trap and something hit me. Oh, that. See, so as I say, there are traps as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, this is creepy stuff. Um, might be football one, actually. I can rewind it. Although, I'll make sure I'm on the right channel first. And be very just. I'll be back in a second. I won't be in more than a minute. Maybe two minutes. Right, I'm back. I think this, uh, I hope it still records while I'm doing that. I think it's still okay. Right, we're back. Yeah, the football's not quite on, but it's going to be very, very soon. Now, what I can do now is go to this, and then I'm going to go to my potions, and I'm going to do, say, that one. We're going to apply that to the sword, okay? And then we're going to take a potion of healing. 
I'm going to take a weak one because that'll probably fill it up, right? Uh, this is going to do a bit more damage this time. We're going to think this out. Oh, yeah, nice one. Right, hang on, let's do another one. Uh, damage health. No I can fire this inside. Ah. Yeah, this Am guy's I a bit tough. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what's the matter? Is the baby gonna cry? Oh. Tell me what you got. Die. Got you this time, you sucker. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Well, I can say it if I want. Alright, let's say it then. Uh, see that? See, it's, 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 it's only weighs one, but it's 96 worth. So I tend to pick up the things that are light, but worth a lot of money. So then I can make tons of money. See, I'm a greedy little monkey. But you see what I mean? That guy was tough, wasn't he? And then we're going to... Whoops. Not we're going to do that. But then we're going to take a... I'll take a weak one because that fills up quite a bit anyway. But I could also have done an apple. Although, actually, let's do some more. If I go to there and go to the top, we can do the old mortar and pestle. And this will increase our... What do we call it? it restores fatigue. Resist disease. Restore health. Let's see if there's anything else that can be no. So we got to click on that and remove it. Carrot. Is that restore fatigue? There's another restore fatigue. And this will actually reduce our weight slightly. Another one. And then we can create that. And we can do another one. As long as you've got the same kind of thing. And then that one will only have to take out. And I don't think we've got... We need at least two, you see. That's a damage health one. I don't think we've got another one now. So we've got to move that. Right, so that'll do for a minute. All right, Bonzo. And of course, we can do all this stuff... That's five, that one. That's an iron shield. Let me see how that compares to mine. Whoops. So it'll be that one, apparel, iron shield. That's five, and the one I got is four. So I'm going to drop that one and do that one. Uh, it was that one, wasn't it? Not sure. But if you've got those two, uh, you know, equipped and it will immediately do that anyway all right so and then i'm going to save because you know you got to do got to do saves all right and then i'm going to stop it there because my football's going to be on hope you enjoyed that a, qu a quick look at oblivion without me really messing around too much because that's because this game's amazing and even when i go back sometimes and play this i get so engrossed in it that i can't stop playing because although it's not as good as skyrim because obviously skyrim more advanced and had a lot of better stuff in it um, some of the quests in this are amazing in Oblivion, and I, I think the older games, some of the quests were better. They, they were more, you know, really kind of right out there, you know, real strange stuff sometimes. Um, but, you know, Skyrim improved in, in all other ways anyway. Yeah. So, there you are, a quick look at um, Oblivion. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll, I'll see you all next time. And we barely just got outside of the thing, of the tutorial bit out into the open <laughs> all right i'll see you all next time i hope you enjoyed that and guess what i'll see you later bye everyone see you next time bye